how do you feel like it went today? It was good. Um, I mean, it's kind of uh, the back end of this process here, uh, especially for some of these guys. I'm really just happy for everyone who was able to participate today. Everybody looked good. Um, I'm, I had a lot of fun. I know everyone had fun today. I'm just glad to be here, you know, and, uh, you know, I've uh, been up here, asked, um, been asked questions by you guys for the past year and a half. So just being here now is, is great. How'd the uh, combine go for you? It was fun, a uh, real fun experience. Um, felt like I went out there and did what I could. Mm. And, um, you know, I, more of a was, you know, now that's it's done and now that today's done, this, the stress has went down a lot. So now it's just a waiting game and, you know, really seeing what, uh, what, what happens, you know, going forward. Following the combine, what more did you want to kind of show scouts today? Um, nothing specifically. Um, just showing me uh, what I do, you know, how I am, the kind of person I am. Um, I feel like I do a pretty good job at showing it. Um, I'm nothing too crazy about me. I'm a happy guy. I like uh, making everybody else happy. So that's all I wanted to come out here and show. So what did like you do today? Um, I just did the position drills, okay. uh, the position work. Seems like you're a big time hype man. Yeah, I try to be. Um, I mean, <laughs> I just that's just how I am. Um, I like bringing energy. I like when energy is around me. I just like good energy. <laughs> Any tips from uh, Jackson on his home, on his home field? Oh, I, I had to a little bit. This is his home turf. Um, I know he was more than happy to be uh, be back here um, at home. He was actually his idea to for us to have it here. So very grateful for that he was able to find find out that we could have pro day here. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, this is kind of more towards the back end of this whole process. Is it a little bit bittersweet, kind of effectively capping your Baylor career? Yeah, it definitely is, especially being here, like right now. Um, I had to take a couple minutes earlier this morning to just kind of breathe, um, you know, especially seeing all the guys. Seeing all the guys is what did it for me. Uh, you know, we, we see some, some hard days. We've been through some hard days together, so... You know, like I said earlier, just being able to be here today and, you know, see them all go through all this, it's uh, stuff that'll make you tear up, you know. Are there a couple teams you've talked to more than any others? I know you've probably talked to a lot of teams. Um, nothing specifically. I mean, I'm just grateful that teams want to talk to me. Do you have an expectation for the draft, maybe which round you, you're thinking you might go or anything like that? No. Like I said, I'm just glad to be here, and when my name gets called, I'm just glad my name gets called. Is there a different mindset for you now? I mean, you have coaches looking over your shoulder. I mean, this is all you to make out of it what you can. A little bit. Um, I feel like now, if anything, it, it may be a little harder. You know, um, like you said, it's just it's all on us as players. Whatever we want to get out of this whole process, it comes down to what we put into it. You know, we don't have coaches behind us telling us to do what needs to be done and stuff. So it's a matter of growing up and taking it upon yourself to be a pro. But I mean, I feel like everyone here, this is where we want to be and this is what we wanted to do. So that it's not, we don't have too much trouble with that part. Um, I mean, it's easy for us to, to want to do all of this, to want to be here, so. Do scouts tell you, you remind them of any certain players? Has that come up in any of the talks? Um, Nothing specific. Um, I mean, they just say I'm a really big, very large guy. Um, you know that. You know they they need very large guys in the next level. So hopefully, I can be that very large guy. <laughs> Are there any players currently in the league who you watched the last few years, look up to, or kind of model in your game after? I would have to say uh, Vita Vea. Uh, he plays nose tackle for the Bucks. Um, more of because he is uh, a Tongan, a uh, Tongan like me. Um, that's what really made me, you know, pay attention to him. You know, someone who is just like me, you know, doing what I want to do. And then um, just what he did for our position. You know, people look at the nose guard position differently now because of him. Um, they look at people who could bring what he brings to the table. It's a, he's pretty much changed the game for us. So definitely someone I focused on. Being able to be the next one up in terms of representing for your culture at the NFL. What's that like for you? Man, it's 
some words can't describe. Um, it's the reason why I do all of this, and not even just for that, for my family. Um, it's not even just being the next person up in the Tongan culture or Polynesian culture. It's the next person up in my family, someone they could, um, you know, be proud of, someone they could watch on TV. So um, it's just, I know I feel like every uh, Polynesian or Tongan athlete can, you know, speak on this. It's just, it's a little different. Um, it's like you have a, a whole uh, community, a city behind you that you're, you know, so, uh, representing. Did you weigh in at today? Uh, weighed in 345, so a little bit heavy, but right still in the area that I need to be or that, you know, people want me to be at. How important was Coach Aranda <clears throat> for you and your development, having, you know, seen him before and then come here with him? Real important. Um, more of, you know, him giving me the opportunity to come here and come into the team and take on the role that I did take. Um, you know, just grateful, just grateful that it all worked out the way it did. Um, I know a lot of people who go through the, you know, transfer portal and, you know, that that whole process isn't as nice to them as it was to me. So I'm just grateful for, to him for uh, giving me the opportunity to come here and, you know, succeed. Will the SoundCloud music follow you to the NFL? Can you say that one more time? Will the SoundCloud music follow you to the NFL? Oh, for sure. Um, <laughs> I've been slacking lately. Uh, been a little busy, um, but um, definitely some I'm uh, going to keep doing. I love music, so it's something I uh, actually got to get back on that now that I think about it. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> something else you like to do, uh, big dancer. Do you have one prepared for when you uh, I don't. I've uh, cut back on the dancing. I, that's something else I probably need to work on as well. Uh, add a couple more moves to my arsenal for the next level, so we'll see.